Well, excitement in the air. We've all known about this day for a long time, and the stage is set in the Spanish capital for the UEFA Champions League final. Hello, everyone. I'm Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary, as always, on these big occasions by Lee Dixon, and we're approaching kickoff time here at the Estadio Metropolitano. It's Chelsea facing Manchester City. Well, hundreds of millions of people will be tuning into this one. Probably the biggest club game in the world. Pointed end of the tournament. Who's going to come out on top? Well, Derek, we're just about to find out. Very, very excited. is how it looks for Chelsea and they are a team Lee known for their aggressive high pressing well absolutely that takes a lot of hard work a lot of organization force the opposition to make early passes the weakness of it if you beat the high press you can get exposed at the back with the capacity of almost 68,000 this is a fine football stadium they met the Politano here in Madrid yeah I'm very envious of these modern players they get to play in these really beautiful beautiful new stadiums introducing the starting players for Manchester City Kyle Walker plays with Benjamin Mendy as fullbacks. Kevin De Bruyne starts alongside Fernandinho in central midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one front runner this evening. And they're underway now in the Champions League final. We're about to find out which team is the best in Europe. Conte. Well, that is a defender's job to come to the rescue. A good-looking move. The Champions League has become so important to Chelsea. Winners back in 2012 in such dramatic style. Well, yeah, and once you know how to win, it doesn't half make a difference to the players. The manager and the coach before the game can say, you've done it before, let's go and do it again. Bernardo Silva. De Bruyne. And Manchester City moving the ball with purpose. When you talk about Chelsea, you talk about a team many people fancied to win the Champions League a decade or so ago. It didn't happen, and then against all the odds, and Gabriel Jesus! Corner for Manchester City. Over it comes. Well, that's clear. Fernandinho with it. De Bruyne now. It did look as though it was rather a fruitful avenue, but nothing doing. Here's Kovacic. David Luiz. It's with Fabregas. Given away by Chelsea. De Bruyne. Bernardo Silva. The cross is on. And delivered by Bernardo Silva here. Thumps clear. And De Bruyne. Walker. Bernardo Silva. De Bruyne. Possession seeded by City here. Well, he's given it away. Yeah. 
Hazard, the Belgian, getting forward. But what's he going to do now? Oh, he's through here. Only the keeper to beat. Over the touchline for a throw-in. Walker. And now Kevin De Bruyne. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Bernardo Silva. Fernandinho with it. De Bruyne. It's with Bernardo Silva. Sergio Aguero has it. And now Kevin De Bruyne. He has plenty of support. opportunity for Manchester City to take the lead. Corner kick it is. And over comes the corner. Taking care of business defensively here. Now he must favour the cross. De Bruyne now. And David Luiz gets in the way. Aiden Hazard. Ball lost by Chelsea. It's with Bernardo Silva. De Bruyne. Bernardo Silva. Is it going to be De Bruyne? Going for power there, but just too much elevation on the short lead. Yeah, over the bar, Derek, with pace. He's a little unlucky. And he's broken free. Can he beat the goalkeeper? And the cross is very much on. Losing custody of it, Conte. And De Bruyne in a useful-looking position, but will there be an end product? Fernandinho with it. It's a promising attack launched by De Bruyne. Fernandinho. This is De Bruyne. Well, the header, but a comfortable save for the goalkeeper. Yeah, he has to do better than that. I could have saved that, Derek. And there's the whistle. Half time it is. A... 45 minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. And options in the centre. Keeper's contribution, but what next? play for a Manchester City throw-in Stones and cleared away Fernandinho with it Gabriel Jesus now and De Bruyne and a chance for them to notch in front and it goes for Manchester City who strike first on this Occasion. Well, it's very important they carry on with the game plan now. First goal to Manchester City. Carry on. Well, it's not a brilliant goal, but it's a goal. It's in the back of the net. Keeper couldn't do anything about it. A bit more analysis as regards the goal. Underway once more, Manchester City with the advantage. They've given it away. Sterling takes it forward. And he's made headway. Does he have the beating of the goalkeeper? Straightforward piece of goalkeeping. He had the sixth sense to know what to do and win it back. He has plenty of support. Walker now. Bernardo Silva. Close towards Aguero. Back post here. And a 
throw in for Manchester City it'll be it's with Bernardo Silva Fernandinho this is De Bruyne and it's Gab Gabriel Jesus a City corner it is And a deep corner into the centre of the area. And Fabregas doing the blocking. Morata. It's with Mendy. Excellent use of advantage from the referee in City's favour. And the danger clear. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. And now the goal the City fans wanted to see. It's hard to see them throwing this away. Well, as we see from the replay, the keeper's got no chance. It's all about the strike, all about the power. He does everything right. Head down, back of the net. And the goal that was scored... Well worth another look, Lee. It's going their way, 2-0. It's with Fabregas. Chelsea finding forward gears. Can they take advantage of this promising position? Sometimes for a goalkeeper, it's not about the spectacular, it's about the routine. Absolutely. Concentration, concentration. It's all between the ears. Attempting to play catch-up in this second half. Lee, what ought the priorities to be? Well, Chelsea, for me, have not been at their best. Little off-colour in all departments, but they're still in this game. We used to say on the pitch, if we were losing, we're bound to get one more chance before the end. Let's see if they get that. So a throw in to Chelsea. It's with Fabregas. Azar on the ball. It's with Bernardo Silva. Aguero. to play it to just a bit too high with that powerful effort yeah he's just leaned back Derek power was there but not the direction well that's a basic kicking error by the keeper what now and options in the centre Fernandinho Kevin De Bruyne City get the corner and a deep ball in Attending to his defensive chores. Well, he's setting the table for his team. And here is Fernandinho. Aguero! And the ball is in the net. The crowd have gone crazy, and quite rightly so. What a finish that is. another look at this he wasn't expecting the ball but when it comes to him he chooses early to volley it what a finish slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored it's a massive lead and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now one minute remaining the whistle goes in the final and it will be a maiden Champions League trophy lift for Manchester City. The agony and the ecstasy. Well, growing up as a young boy, Derek, as a Manchester City fan, I never thought I'd see this night. Champions League going to Manchester City. What a night. Forever in the shadow of Manchester United. Not this evening. Fully 
very deserving and any second now these players will be presented with old big ears as we sometimes call the trophy league yeah i love this trophy it's one of my favorites so big as well not so sure how heavy it is never got that chance to lift it but these players are going to get that chance tonight the captain first they've worked tirelessly and now they have the champions league trophy manchester city What an achievement by all concerns. City, the best team in Europe. Well, like the party to be at tonight. Definitely follow those players. And what would a celebration be without a chance to party with the fans? I always find it's a little bit disappointing. You can't take the trophy into the fans and let them touch it. Performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night. Wonder who's in charge of the music tonight, Derek, at the party. I think you might be, given your connections with this club. Well, it's official.